My name is Joe Hanoski. I've owned Joe's Pizza now for about 11, 11 and a half years. But I've been totally working here since I was a youngster. I started here as a worker. Then I became a partner. And then uh, they sold me everything. And uh, I never thought I'd be, I'd be here this long. <laughs> Sure, Larry's Pizza was started by my dad in uh, 1963 on Hanover and Noble Streets in uh, Nanny Coke. Moved here to the former Tremaine's Grocery Store in 1972, uh, where it operated uh, until 1998, where uh, I had bought it off him. And then uh, between 98 and 2001, uh, we put the pub on next door, which used to be the yard, and uh, we just continue to operate with the same family name till today. The, uh, the pub's officially called the 19th hole for the golf team. Uh, however, there's been a slang nickname that's been added, which is the uh, Church Street Station. Um, Larry Sr. was a police officer. Um, I am a, a paramedic firefighter uh, with Manitoba City. Um, so we kept this, the name was the Church Street Station because there always seems like there's uh, somebody hanging out here or eating here or having their family here. Who is a firefighter, police officer, right, sure. emergency services? From this city, from Wilkesboro City, pretty much all over the valley. Yeah, I mean, we carry on the family name, it's, it's definitely pride. <laughs> but how long have you guys been, been been in business? You think my grandfather started in '57. Here? Uh, well, he started actually where that empty lot is across the street. Mm -hmm. That's where he started with his first restaurant over there. And he had that. He had a, a, a greasy spoon. They called it down down on the corner where the State Theater was. Mm -hmm. And then this was the I don't know if it was empty first uh, or if it was just he saw the right time, bought the building, and switched it over. Moved over on this side of the street. We've been here, I think, 62 is when he moved over here on the side of the street. Wow. And yeah, been here ever since. Not much has changed. <laughs> Who's... Mr. Hynoski wasn't sure. Who Do you know if you guys were here first in business you know or, or, was, my, or my, Stuchio's? My grandfather and Joe Stuchio were, were very good friends. And they... They had the, uh, the idea together right around the same time, but my grandfather was actually started across the street. Uh, he, he was doing pizza over there as well. And somewhere in between him having there and moving here is when Joe Stuccio started. So it was, you know, they were in a year of each other, but I'm pretty sure my grandfather was first. But like I said, they were they were best friends. So, And they were the only two pizza shops in town for quite a long time. Yeah, okay, yeah. So this is third generation business? Yes. yes, it is. Right now it is third generation. My dad started the business in 1972. We have his picture in the bar. And his idea was to be here for three or four years. And we're here 46 years. Almost 50. Yep. And uh, he always said if you give people a good product and a good price, we when we buy our product, we get nothing but the best, we try to buy the best, and if you give them the best, it's going to come out the best. That was his philosophy, and that's my philosophy, and that's her philosophy, too. So, uh, basically, we're here at Nanny Coke, and... We love other Nanny Coke products. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but, and yeah. Uh, what I always said, the original places were us, Larry's, Nardozo's, Joe's and Marty's. Chicken wing pizza? Yep. Small chicken wing. We have homemade pierogi and Marty's. Homemade pierogi. This is great with pizza. Polish town, they like their pizza. They gotta have their pierogies too, so. Got and what do you think about all the pizza places in Nanico? It's a lot of options for a small town, huh? Well, there's quite a bit. Yeah, there's quite a bit of uh, uh, pizza places in Nanico too. You know. Mm-hmm. 
What do you think about the mom? What? We love them all. We, go to, we order from our Dozos. Oh yeah, they're all I. We order from all the places. I think they're they're all they're all good. Nice. You I can get any place in any cook any pizza bar to compete with anyone. Is it like a friendly competition? Yeah. The, 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 the the pizza business in any cook. Yeah, we're all we we all should get along. We all do get along, and and it should be where everybody helps everybody. And uh, therefore, uh, if that could be, then we can all get a lot further than not. There's a lot of pizza shops here, and most of us are still pretty good friends that, that own the shops. Um, in the Hanover section down here on Church, we are we're all uh, we're all pretty good. I uh, I take the old guard as uh, I, I think that's a friendly competition. Like I said, uh, um, Joe's down here on Church Street. Uh, Ruby's over in the Hanover section and Nardozo's on Main Street. I think they're pretty much the old guard and, and I don't think there's anything that we wouldn't trade with each other on the drop of the dime if we needed it. They would actually, um, if one, one of them was running out of boxes, they'd make a phone call, one guy would run boxes down. If somebody was running out of cheese, the other guy would run cheese. So they, you know, they cooperated hand in hand for the longest time. And, and I, I, I often, Tease my dad and say, hey, we need a good pizza maker for Saturdays. Let's keep Joe hanging. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I guess it goes back. And Joe's been there. Joe's been there forever, too. He's, he was Mr. Squishio's right hand. And would you consider a, a friendly competition among the places? Because they're even the ones that haven't been here forever. There's like 10 places now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, my boss, you know, we don't, it's tough because. There's different styles. We have our, our style, and, and everybody's everybody's different. And, and with uh, with wings and hoagies, it brings a whole different kind of. So it's like, you know, Larry. I know Larry pretty well. I know Larry from from uh, working here in town, and, and you know, I'm I'm friendly with Larry. You know, I don't. There's no there's no animosity between anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's just that's how it is. So you, I think that it's I'm different here as opposed to, we weren't, I wasn't born and raised in Nanticoke, but I love this town and everybody has always treated us like we were born and raised here, but there's a different sense of pride here. We all support each other, all the businesses support each other. I think that it's totally different in this town as opposed to any other town.